Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to format a trend line in Excel. On my screen I have a chart already prepared. It's a scatter plot. Uh, to make it interesting, I, it's, it's actually real numbers. It's the uh, temperatures for different cities in the U.S. and the latitude and longitude. And I thought it would be interesting to show a plot of the temperature versus latitude. So I have a scatter plot here. And the first thing we're going to do is make a trend line. And so uh, what I'm going to do is click on the um, the, one of the data points and then right click and do, for, uh, do add trend line uh, on different operating systems and different versions of Excel. The exact um, appearance of the menus may be a little different but that's what you want to look for is add trend line. And the default here looks like a linear uh, trend line. You can also do uh, different forms depending on the data you're trying to uh, uh, do a regression to. But let's just use the linear selection and let's say OK and we can look at it here and um, now you can see that in the legend it shows the the data series and also the trend line is included as a separate item on the um, on the legend. Um, so just it, what, to, uh, to format it you can just we could have done it when we had the menu open but I just wanted you to see the trend line. Uh, what we'll do is just double click on the trend line and we'll go back to that same menu and then we'll go to line and it'll give us some different options and again this may look different for different operating systems but uh, if you want to uh, have different uh, line styles, different line colors, uh, you, you go to this, in, in this case it's the weights and arrows menu and we, you can pick a style, uh, just a plain style is fine. Um, I like to sometimes make a dashed line. You can uh, I don't think there's any reason to have arrows, but we can make it a heavier line. And it's kind of nice, the newer versions of Excel, you, you can actually see what's happening as you're making the changes. So you can just use the standard formatting features just as within a lot of other features in Excel and format the trend line the way you want to. And if you have more than one data set and more than one trend line, um, it's very useful to, to format them so that it's, it's easy to distinguish one from another. So thank you for watching. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to format a trend line in Excel. Thank you for watching.